Hey guys, Tim Pokemon here. In today's video, we are shiny hunting yet again in the Triumph Together event. And we have one final day for it because tomorrow's Pop Leo Calm Day and we're not going to be doing much of this event in that day. But we got ourselves final eggs, final researches, all that kind of stuff. We're going to see what we can get today. But first, we got ourselves a Sierra because I would love to get myself a shot of shadow of Carvana. And that was one of the ones, actually, this one's not bad, 220. That was one of the shiny shadows I did pick up this event. With this event, we had a ton of rockets that have just been absolutely everywhere and this event's kind of been a three-part event where it went rockets eggs research but i've really been just mixing in everything all at once at times and especially those rockets i've been loving these hourly, hourly balloons i'm gonna really miss them i can't even lie to you guys but we got ourselves a daily incense to run we got a clamp to start things off that's a boost to chiani but didn't want to shine this time it's all good but we got ourselves a huge day plan today and hopefully some shinies coming soon but we also got a big stream so we'll see how that goes as well but we got a clamp pearl obviously that isn't shiny we got some raids probably that we'll do xerneas is in one of its final days now so hopefully we'll go ahead and get a shiny xerneas today maybe because i've actually had a few days with that one so you know hopefully it'll shine today that, that'll be that'll be pretty nice but we got ourselves our second spawn on the daily which i'm hoping will be a galarian bird because we've even seen one of those in this event so this event's had you know all of its great finds throughout somebody's clearly very angry but we got a faux mantis that isn't a shiny mantis on the next clip and now we got some sun showers it's sunny outside but it's raining, but we got two tasks, so let's go ahead and see if one of these turns out to be shiny. We got a Coral Brawler that isn't quite red gloved, but we got a second one that isn't a Moga that is also not shiny. We're gonna go ahead and catch this guy real quick. Hold on, sorry, my phone screen got a little bit wet from the little bit of rain coming down. We also gotta catch five, which is a Beldum, 389. Not the hundo, you're looking for 418. We gotta execute on the incense. And yesterday, right in this spot, we got ourselves a shiny lick of tongue, which I said it likes to pop up on the videos. And then it decided to pop up immediately afterwards. We got a huge tangler, which I mean, that would have been a pretty cool shiny, huge green spaghetti. Would have not have complained with that one. We got a Beniri, a Spinarak that is in a blue spider. And we have actually something that I wanna show you guys after the daily incense finishes. There's a picture that released by the Pokemon company about the potential Halloween costumes and I would be really excited to see some of those coming in the game We'll talk about that in a little bit though and we mentioned Xerneas and we immediately got ourselves an invite So let's see if we got ourselves a shiny here from Miss Coffee Pie and let's see if it turns out to be the shiny variants No, but it's really bad and now we got ourselves three more of the catch five tasks and no wait Never mind, one of them is unstuck on catch four. So give me a second, we gotta catch that Beldum. And it did catch, okay. So two more tasks, let's see what they are. There's another one is a Beldum, 402 this time. And the third one is going to be a Gumi, 402 as well. Twinsy. And two more tasks, let's see if one of them turns out to be a Shiny. We got a Dynamo that's actually, I think kind of decent. I think 343 three is that Hundo from Research. But the second ta task is going to be another Dynamo. That, it, that isn't shiny. We got a Nodish as well. No. Now we got invited to a raid by Sauce, but first we got ourselves a Explorer 1 that is a 780, which is actually pretty good. But let's see if we can make it in this raid in time. Hopefully we can. Come on, ready or not. It might be full because of invite from New York. And we got to buy some roads. We somehow made in that Xerneas raid. There's about 12 people in there, and hopefully we get ourselves a shiny waiting for us in this raid. I mean, because I, like I said, I haven't got a shiny Xerneas in a couple of days, so let's see it right here. No, okay, it is what it is. Next right. And we got two more tasks and another remote invite, which we're gonna join in a second. But we got ourselves one Beldum that isn't shiny, and the second one is a Cyndaquil that also isn't shiny. Looking for 420 for that hundo. We got a Hound Hour. No good doggo there, no blue doggo, and a Slowpoke that isn't shiny. Let's join that real quick. Let's go to that Xerneas. And here goes that other remote Xerneas. And let's see if this one's a shiny one. We also walked over to an in person race, so we're gonna get that done right after this one. But first things first, this one is not a shiny and here goes the other raid let's see if this one turns out to be a shiny we got an in-person raid so maybe that brings the in-person luck right come on shiny no well i hope somebody that i invited got the shiny and now it's time for that time in the video we got ourselves the halloween costume breakdown now these are the potential halloween costumes coming because this is what the pokemon center posted and you can see right there in the middle we got ourselves the trusty old pikachu which i mean you just love to see it's obviously one that's usually pops up and i actually really like this one i think it looks really cool it's got a nice witch hat a nice witch outfit all that kind of stuff and I'm here for it. I think that'd be really, really cool if we could get that Pikachu. But the one I'm really looking at is that Froki behind it. It's got a little bit of a cape. It's got a bow tie. It's got a hat. It's got everything going for it. So I hope we get that as a shiny during Pokemon Go in Halloween. But the other one I'm also looking at is that Rowlet. I really, really would love that Rowlet. If that Rowlet comes out and the Mimikyu, 
I think Age is going to be out all day, shiny gun to grind it with me, so that should be a lot of fun. I also absolutely adore that way Coco, who is just wearing a pumpkin. I absolutely love it. But then you got yourself uh, Gothicelle. What's the middle one? I forget the middle one's name, sorry. But, you know, Gothita's middle evolution. And then you got yourself Mr. Rhyme. Which, please don't bring that costume. And then you got yourself Fluttermane. I don't think that's coming to Pokemon Go anytime soon. And Meowskarata. So, interested to see which of these costumes we get in Pokemon Go. There's also an Ipidip hiding in the top left hand corner. But for me, I think we definitely get that Froakie and we get that Rowlet and we get that Pikachu. You guys let me know which ones you guys would want to see, though. All right, guys, we're taking cover in a parking garage right now because it is absolutely pouring outside. We got ourselves two tests, but you guys can probably see this rain in AR mode. It's absolutely crazy. I'll just flip the camera too. It's absolutely crazy right now, but we got ourselves two tests. Let's might as well check them. And we are, did throw down two lure modules right here. We actually got lucky, I guess, where it started raining. We have ourselves some sort of spawns and there's eradicate. That can't be shiny. Next clip. And just look at that. The one I don't record my check for. We got ourselves a shiny Xerneas. Now this one is almost floor, which is really bad. But unfortunately, you know, we're trying to stay out of the rain. I was on the call with Adri. And the shiny Xerneas decided to pop up, which you just love to see. We love to see a shiny. Keeps a shiny streak alive. And it's a great look at shiny at that. This one's definitely going to be lucky trade fodder. Because look at these IVs. Biome. 10, 11, 11. Absolutely horrendous. But that doesn't matter. Because we got ourselves a shiny for the day, which you love to see. And hopefully... A couple more is coming. We are going to put down some necrosm powers while we wait. I think Adrian might be come picking me up. Not 100% sure yet. Now while we wait for Adrian, we got ourselves a 2 p.m. balloon here, which could be a shiny Shadow Carvana, which would be absolutely amazing. We're just sitting here waiting, though. The rain's still coming down quite hard. But do we got a green fish for it? Maybe. No, but it is weirdly enough. Also, I'm going to show you guys this. Sunny weather in game. Where? And look who picked me up. Adrian picked me up, and you know what happens when Adrian picks me up? I get a shiny, which you just love to see. We got a random shiny skitty, which honestly is not the greatest shiny, but when it involves a Delcaddy, it's a pretty good looking shiny. We'll see if this one's any good on IVs, but hey, it's a nice surprise. We love to see it. And I mean, she brought the luck. She brought the luck with the Xerneas. She brought the luck with this. And now we got, and we actually got ourselves a three star shiny, which is pretty good. And we won't talk about what just happened. There was maybe some, uh, you know, some talking from the GPS. Them. Oh, shiny Fanfy, what? On the incense, too, I risked that. That is a rare shiny to pick up. I almost didn't even recognize it. Shiny Fanfy, we love that. Um, You got to the right, yeah. It's absolutely crazy. Look at these IVs, ready, ready? Bang, bop, boom. Nobody cares about the IVs because it's a shiny Fanfy. Alrighty guys, we had a little stream crash and we just got ourselves a shiny core fish. Stuff you just absolutely love to stream see. We're about to restart stream, but in between we got ourselves a shiny core fish. Just stuff you absolutely love to see. A really rare shiny. We had a fan feed today and a core fish. I mean, we love the rarities of the shinies today. And it's a two-star. We'll take that as well. And let's see if we go back to back with a clauncher. That would have been nuts. I love that it goes on the suit too. That's amazing. Oh, shiny Horchick! No way! We look at Marissa's best buddy ribboned uh, scoop of Pikachu, and we got a shiny Torchic off the incense. Let's go! This is a shiny I have not seen for a minute. Since Hoenn Tour, I have not picked up this shiny. Today is the day of shinies, uh, uncommon shinies in my account. Let's go. Shiny Torchic, bad IVs. Looks great though. Marissa did bring the luck. And our date night wraps up at Dave and Buster's. And we got ourselves some shiny checks to do, right? So we'll see if we get ourselves a shiny. But who, who is the better at the game, babe? Me. It, I, I was going to say me. But we also got ourselves this Mario plushie. We, we really got it for the doggos. I'm not going to lie. We most of the time leave Dave and Buster's with either something for the plushie wall or something for the doggos. It's it's really 50-50. It's one or the other, but most of the time, it's for the doggos. But we're going to give that to the Theo. We'll probably throw that in the vlog, because why not? We'll see if he likes it or not. But we got ourselves a Fletchling that is a shiny, and we got ourselves a Venipede, and we did have some really rare shinies on stream today, which is pretty awesome. So stuff you just love to see. But we got ourselves a Patret, a Ninetales, or a Ninetales that's just once again in the way of the Patret. Patrick. And I'm finally passenger princess. Yeah, she's passenger princess now. I'm I'm driving home, but I cannot tap this Patrat. This is okay. There we go. It's not it's not shiny. I promise. And now it's time to wrap up today's video in this events as a whole. We're gonna go over everything we got in this event, but first let's go over what we got in today's video because we got some awesome shiny finds. Starting off with the Xerneas stuff you love to see. Then we followed that up with a Skitty, which really with really good IVs. Honestly, was surprised how good it was. And then we got ourselves a shiny Pampy, a shiny Corfish, and a shiny Torchic 
like all three shinies you don't see that often i only have i think three core fish all the time you can check right here two core fish and then the crawdon and the last time i saw a core fish was oh back in april but before that yeah it was 2023 i was gonna say it's not too close i think i actually had traded one of these away as well so i've seen four core fish all the time and then fanfi is the same situation where i've only caught three all the time but i've traded for one and ended up going lucky which was pretty funny so stuff you love to see but yeah today was one to get an extra spare which you just love to see it's a pretty rare shiny when you don't see that often than torchic even i think the last time i got a shiny torchic was also hoen tour i want to say yeah hoen tour global so just absolutely craziness just uncommon shinies at least for me right i know a lot of people have torchic all over the place but i haven't seen one in a long time it's been over a year so hey happy to go ahead and pick that up corefish and fanfi let me know in the comments down below do you have both of those shinies do you have one of those shinies let me know but let's go over this whole event because age zero i want to say what this event's been like a week i want to say uh we can go ahead and see what's the start of the event shiny shadow leap number one actually yeah that is i think the start of the event which is actually pretty funny there but the rocket portion really really unlocked the shadows in this event for me because i managed to pick up not one not two not three but four shiny shadows this event and finally got that green fish and it was actually a really good ivs then we also got ourselves a bunch of shinies in there you can see the pan sham you can see the xerneas we had a few of those this event we also had ourselves a couple clamp pearls we got ourselves an xl shiny patch rat from a trade. This was a trade with uh, Wife Oreen, so shout out to Wife Oreen. But then we got ourselves a Mudkip, an Ankata, a Ponyard from a 12k, a Dancing Darumaka. But the highlight of the event itself, I mean, it had to be this guy right here. The shiny background elegant, just easily one of my rarest shinies in all of Pokemon Go at the moment. Honestly, just didn't expect to go ahead and pick that up. And you can see with the three backgrounds here, we're going to go down to a special background right there. You can see we have three backgrounds. The Ponies Up, the Elekid, and the Lapras. But the only one that we got shiny was the Elekid, which is absolutely amazing. Definitely not going to complain with that one. I will take that a hundred times out of a hundred, which you just absolutely love to see. But yeah, three backgrounds, a bunch of shinies, and a lot of hundos as well. If you want to go age zero to seven with hundos as well, we had a decent amount of purified hundos because how many rockets we're doing but 10 hundos over the last seven days one of them being sand out one of them being Boosh, which you love to see. We're slowly getting this guy up to level 50. We're going to get him there for sure at some point. But we also got ourselves a Hundo Pickle Rick, aka Schmallive. We got ourselves a Sodder on stream, which was pretty fun. And then a couple other fun ones, right? A couple purifies, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below your most recent 100 IB catch. But let's wrap up today's video with a plushie. And that plush is gonna be a little chunky boy, cause I, I don't know, I love this guy, he's a little chunky boy, he's, he's so cute, look at him, he's, he's so cute, but uh, what, what do you gotta say to me, little chunk? Hey, thank you guys so much for 81.4k subscribers. You guys have been hitting that subscribe button. I super appreciate it. We're on the road right now to 100k, trying to hit that 90k before Halloween, and if we do so, We'll be shiny hunting in onesie. So share the channel with your friends, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. We got some traveling coming up too, which is super exciting. Can't wait for all that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, peace.